quick uh, tutorial to do disk part. Uh, I use it a lot in my Windows environment, and I do it as well when I need to format a drive for uh, my Mac computer, and it tends to uh, Mac under the recovery mode uh, does not normally find it, and it says the drive is not there, but if I pop it into a Windows computer, it's there, and vice versa. So um, someone on Facebook group was asking how to do it. So I'm just, I'm remoting into my desktop computer because, my Windows desktop computer, because the, the screen sharing on Windows is not always that great. Um, so I'd rather do it through QuickTime. So here's my computer. <clears throat> I've already gone ahead and, as give it a moment, there's open my computer there, hit this PC, uh, and then right here is the solid state drive. There's a uh, solid state drive here. You can go ahead and select it. It actually shows it's an NTFS. So the user is having a problem where it's an NTFS or an MS-DOS, uh, and then they uh, they ended up doing taking that hard drive out of their Windows computer, putting it into their Mac, which is could be anywhere from, say, uh, a 2013 and older, or no, actually a 2012 and older MacBook Pro where you actually can swap the hard drive out. The 2013 and to 2015, you can still swap out the hard drive, but it's an NVMe, so it's a little type of different. It's not a standard two and a half inch hard drive. So what we're gonna do here, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel this. Uh, we're gonna, right now it's called, uh, what is it, 180 SSD, so it's a solid state drive. And then I'm just going to go ahead and you can do this in DOS. Uh, so you can just do the command prompt if you want. Or you can do is uh, run it under through PowerShell. And it's technically the same thing. You can just do a right click here, select run as administrator if you don't have administrator rights on that computer. Uh, once it pops up, you just type in this part. And then you give it a moment. And then once it gives you the next prompt, you want to go ahead and pull up list list the disk so it'll tell you what disks are attached so it should show three here zero there is basically your default internal uh, and it looks like I'm using a lot of it 465 gigs I'm using uh, 15 gigs left wow that's quite a bit I gotta clean that up uh, disk one shows 476 gigabytes that's uh, my internal uh, two and a half and then this external the 180 SSD is the disk 2 which is 167 gigs it shows so at this point you want to go ahead and now you know what hard drive you want so you want to say select disk 2 now you want to go ahead and select on clean so once you type in clean and press enter this will completely wipe the drive so there's, there's no scheme there's no partition no, there's no GUI in there at all so it just wipes it clean like if you just bought it from the store um, but now sometimes when you buy it from the store it might be formatted for a specific Windows environment or Mac environment or Linux, however it is. So here, we're going to go ahead and type in create, if I can spell, create partition, no, wait, create primary partition. Uh, and that fails because I did it wrong. So let's change it the other way, create partition primary and that should go through now and, yep there you go now you want to go ahead and format the drive now this format FS is actually your file structure now you can do NTFS you could do MS-DOS you can do uh, XFAT if you want uh, it's really up to you how the file uh, structure you want to have it so I normally just do NTFS then you want to put a label. The, the label is equal to whatever's in quotation. So the quotation will be, it was originally 180 SSD. So we'll just do this uh, 180 NTFS SSD. We'll just extend it. Then you put an end quotation because th that's what the name of the drive is going to be. Now at this point, you can just either press enter. It will take probably about a good 10 minutes uh, or longer, depending on how large the drive is. Uh, to format that part, to format that drive. Now you can also do quick at the end. Uh, and so basically, this is uh, it's going to format it at a much faster rate. Uh, now, uh, what the difference faster rate? 
Uh, it's just basically quick is normally used if you don't really have a problem with that specific drive uh, or if it's like a brand new drive. But if it's a drive that's probably like three years and older, you just want to go ahead and just do the standard uh, f format uh, just so it can make sure it goes through every sector, every issue, and make sure it's fully formatted the proper way. So again, just do quick. Uh, but also, just so you know, if you did go to here and then say, oh, it's not there actually. It's right here, this question mark. But if you wanted to do like here, there's an option. I, this was my internal. So I can do this. So now you see where it says format here. If I did it this way through the GUID prompt, not through the DOS or PowerShell prompt, this is going through the quick version. So this is doing a quick format. As you see, it's check mark down here, quick format. Uh, this quick format that I'm doing here is the exact same thing. Only thing is, is that I'd rather trust going through this process because sometimes going through the GUID process tends to fail and it doesn't format properly. So now I press enter. Now it says 0% completed. Now if you give it like a good minute or so, well, it's a solid state drive, so it actually finished it up quite in seconds. So now at this point, you want to type in active because you want to make the drive active, like a primary partition. Uh, you don't have to do this. You can just skip this, type exit, and get it out of it. But this is a confirmation to tell me that I know it's working. And then if I go here, you can see the drive do, does, still does not appear. So let me move this over a little here. So then what's going to happen after active, you would normally press enter. Now it's active. Now you still don't see it on the right side. So right here, this is where you type it out. Now this is crucial. If you don't do the assign under the Windows, under the Mac, you may not even still see the drive. So now we're just going to hit assign. A pop-up should appear and the drive should appear on the right side. So let's go. There it is. It's on the right hand side now. You see it's 180 NTFS SSD is what we named it, uh, which is matches the same right here. Um, Okay, so that's good. It's accessible. Now we can open this up and go ahead and create a folder. I can see it on my other screen, but I'm not on the share screen here. So I'll just create, uh, it'll just be called a new folder. So now if we give it a moment on the computer over here, it's still, oh, actually it looks like I lost the connection. Yeah, see, this is why I like to do things on the Mac. So what I did is basically on that specific partition, and it looks like my, oh, uh, the actual app crashed. Still recording, but um, so let's go ahead and disconnect it from that drive. We'll put it into this Mac MacBook, and then I will show you where that is and go from there. Okay, so. If I can somehow no, the force quit, let's log me and rescue. We're done with that. Oh, wine loader 64. That's what keeps popping up. But that, that's the thing that keeps crashing in. So, uh, as you can see, I'm still recording on my screen here. So, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that from the drive. You may hear a sound, you may not. Uh, it's very faint. Beep, beep, beep. All right, so now I'm going to go into my Mac. I'm going to plug that specific drive into my Mac here. And it should appear in the top right corner there. All right, it's plugged in. Let's see if it pops up here on the right side. Come on. There it is. So there's the 180 uh, NTFS SSD that I said that I did. And then inside here, you should might see the folder called new folder. Here it is. That's the new folder that I created on the Windows side. So now um, it's there. So now if I wanted to, I can go into um, disk utility, pop in disk utility. And now I select on the external. And external shows right up here. It is an NTFS. Uh, it's a USB external physical drive. Uh, it says here owner and it shows disable. Okay, but it's only it's readable only through the NTFS. 
so I so technically I can't make changes to it. So now if I wanted to select this and first aid is not available, it's grayed out, partitions grayed out, but you do have the option for a race. So now if I select the race, now I want to change the format and it gives me the options of Mac OS extended, extended, fat. Uh, XFAT. XFAT will be universal between Mac and PC, uh, but I want to just do Mac OS Extended. So uh, let's go ahead and select that. It enabled the Erase option. So now I just go ahead and select Erase. Now that new folder that's in there, it's gone. It's remounted. I uh, want to do a time machine. I say no. So you can see down here it's erased. Unmounted, erasing, initialized, 168 gigabytes. Now it's an HFS uh, plus volume with uh, journal. It's mounted, it's operation success. So now you have first aid right up here is listed. And you can see right down here, it's Mac OS extended. Still shows owners, still shows disabled, but you were able to format it. Here's the drive right here. Let me open this up. There is no new folder in there, so that's already gone. So what I can do right now is um, I'll just eject it properly through the Mac. And then what we'll do is, okay, now it's ejected. Unplug it, external disappears. Let me plug it right back in. External should pop up again in a moment. There you go, popped up. Now you see this internal here shows owners and it shows enable. That's the default internal. So this is the external. The external here is owners and is disabled. The reason why it's disabled, because this is not the primary drive. Uh, the primary, like the active drive, the active means it's primary. So here's a primary, this is the APFS. This one is enabled because it is technically the primary drive. This is technically like a secondary or logical drive. Uh, this will not show this will continue to show disabled until it's a made made into a bootable drive. Uh, and then once that's done, you're all set to go. So hopefully you guys understand in how to format the drive in the Windows. Uh, if you have a Windows computer, if you don't, you can do this still in your Mac and format it. And uh, you can go from there. So again, looking at the disabled, disabled is basically logical or secondary uh, partition. So it's not your primary. To have this disabled reverted to a primary, you need to format the drive to the Mac OS Extended or APFS, um, which is the newer version. Uh, I'm running currently, uh, what am I running on this computer? I think it's Mojave. Uh, yeah, it is Mojave 10.14.3, and it works fine. Now, if you're running uh, Sierra, for an example, uh, I'm running Sierra on a different computer. So I'm gonna have to switch to that one. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop this video and then merge with the other. So you can see, oh, actually, you know what? I probably don't have to. Your iMac 5K. That should do my screen sharing for my other computer. Give it a second, then this should work. It's going through Wi-Fi, so it's just going to be a little moment here. Yep, there you go. So there's my iMac right here. Let me close this. You can see on the right-hand side, uh, let me remove that log me in. So I'm going to go ahead and inject this. <clears throat> There's a one TFS that's ejected. I'm going to go ahead and inject this USB. You'll see it on the screen on the under the iMac 5K. And then we can make sure. So let's go here. Let's talk about so you can see, okay, so this one's running Mac OS Sierra, it's 10, 12, 6. All right, and then if you hit on storage, you see the internal is 1.3, it was actually a two terabyte. Here is the 180 NTFS, uh, which is 180. Uh, it is formatted, and uh, it's on format under the Mac. So now if I go to the Mac here, 
there it is, it's the same one. Now on here, if I select on disk utility, you will also see that the media is right there is 180, it's an NTFS, it's external. And as you can see right now, under Sierra, it shows as owners and it shows as enabled. Whereas you saw on Mojave, it showed disabled because it's not primary. It's still not the primary, it's still the media. And then this is the master boot record. The master boot record is still considered uh, Windows, actually. So it's not fully partitioned to, uh, to be an internal. But when you have it as an internal, it is considered uh, the main boot up drive and it'll all be uh, Mac OS extended or whatever format file structure you have selected it under. All right, so hopefully that helps you out to understand how to get it back to the enable under the owners uh, and have it formatted under the windows and bring it over onto your Mac. So now you can make this into your bootable um, internal hard drive. All right, well, thanks for visiting my channel and Apple Dollars Genius and YouTube channel. Hopefully this uh, has a better understanding on how to do the disk part and then move the drive over to the Mac and how to format it that way too in case it never pops up under your Mac and you're wondering why is it not doing that. All right, thank you. If you subscribe, you greatly appreciate it. And put in your comments uh, of any other kind of videos you would like to see. All right, have a great day.